Welcome to our series on Sitecore Experience Accelerator. In this episode, guest speaker Baron Demersal walks through creating a tenant in SXA. Hi there, my name is Barend Emmersaal and I'm a business consultant from the Netherlands. Today I want to talk about Sitecore Experience Accelerator and I'm personally working with SXA for one and a half years now and I love the product because it's, it's enabling me as a non-developer to quickly create sites and get, for example, demos started. The first thing that you should want to do when you start with SXA is creating a site. And that is a two-step process. So when you have installed SXA, you can go to the content editor and you will see things like site core node, the content node, the home and perhaps email, but the tenant node that you will see in my uh, application will not be there. You have to create a tenant first and from there you can create a site within a tenant. Now to do that you can right click on the content node, choose insert and then you will see two options, a tenant folder and a tenant. Now the tenant folder is mainly used to structure your tree and it can be used to reflect your organizational structure. So let's say that you have um, uh, a holding um, with several brands and each brand has several websites you can create a tenant folder for your uh, group you can perhaps create a tenant for each brand and within a tenant you can create multiple sites what is also very important to know that everything that you create within a tenant in terms of sites can be shared within a tenant so each tenant has a set of data templates which are stored in the templates section um, but you can also share other stuff like rendering variants, um, themes, um, etc. Et so it's important to um, think first how your organizational structure should be reflect how you would like to use SXA in terms of sharing content, sharing elements of sites and then start creating your structure. So in this video we're only focusing on the tenant and site creation so I'm going to create a new tenant and you will see that a new creation wizard dialog is loaded. Now this is only a single step wizard and you can create a tenant name so let's say brand A and in here you will see a set of modules that you can select or deselect. Now I will leave them selected for now but what it does is that in the background when um, a feature or module is selected it will create all kinds of stuff for you in terms of data templates, folders, um, uh, adding components and all other things and scripts that are needed to make the creation process very easy for you. So let's say that you are deselecting search you will not get modules that you can use on your sites to create search. We will leave that on for now, click on OK and we have to wait a couple of seconds or minutes because it can take a little while. So let's speed up the process. There it is, it's done. So we're clicking the close button and as you can see here you will see the brand A tenant. Now when I select it um, it does not have anything beneath it but when we're looking at the item you will see several configuration settings like the templates location like themes location media library location all the different modules that you have selected and even things like shared sites so when you start creating sites you can use one site within your tenant that is served or has the role of a shared site and you can use it for example to store content that is the same on each site for example contact information of a spokesman or if you have product information on all different brand sites that is equal equal you can store that uh, product information in that single site use that as a selected site and all the different brand sites within this tenant can use that information now when you have created a tenant um, you will notice that in the tree on some places new folders are created so you see the templates location here when we go to site core templates project you will see that you have a brand A folder now and in here here are a bunch of default data templates data templates that are already created 
Uh, the same applies for media library, so when we go to media library and we go to project, you will see the brand A tenant. So this is something that is created for you, and the same applies for the site creation part. It will also create some folders. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.